Hi everybody, State Representative Andrew Barkas coming to you from the Capitol here, week one of the 2024 session. You know, over the last several years, we've seen the decline in our society, our cities, with the rise of crime, and the people have spoken and said, you know what, we are tired of this assault on our public safety. As a result of that, we've seen lawlessness going on throughout our communities, whether it's graffiti on the highways, or what we saw happen last weekend in downtown Seattle, when protesters illegally took over Interstate 5, blocking it for up to six hours, blocking medical emergency ambulances and people going about their normal day-to-day -day lives. This last week, I thought about it, talked to my colleagues and worked with my staff to propose two pieces of legislation. One is HB 2358. And this is a law that enhances the penalties they have to do when people obstruct and block our state highways. You know, you, people have asked me, well, isn't it already against the law? And the answer is yes. But people aren't adhering because the law is weak and the law is not being enforced. What this bill does is increases the penalties. We need accountability. If you are working with an organizer and there's three or more of you and you purposefully walk onto a state highway to do a protest, an illegal protest, you can now be facing, if this law passes, up to a Class C felony with some pretty heavy fines and jail time. Now, why is that important? Because we have to have some deterrence to these actions. Maybe if people feel like there is consequences to their actions, they might not do it. Some people have asked me and said, isn't this an a encroachment on their free speech and their First Amendment rights? Absolutely not. There are ways that you can peacefully protest throughout our communities to gather, to get permits for parades. You just shouldn't do it on the freeway or on our state highways because now you're putting the rest of the citizens of Washington State at risk. This is an important bill and it's going to go through the process. I'm happy to report I have a Democrat co-sponsor and Representative Hackney and many others, over almost 40 people have signed on to this. The response has been overwhelming. People are tired of seeing our communities overrun by lawlessness. Speaking of that, the other bill that I think is really important is HB 1989, the anti-graffiti bill. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm sure you have, drive anywhere on I-5 up and down the corridor in Puget Sound. All of the beautiful infrastructure that has been built recently is covered in graffiti. And the, and the agency, the Department of Transportation can't keep up on cleaning it up because it just reappears. And you know why that is? Again, there is no accountability for this. There's no consequences for the action of these criminals who are breaking the law. What this bill does is it actually looks at a couple different approach, different ways that we can use different products to help it so that paint will not adhere to the infrastructure. Use the camera system that is all over Interstate 5 to identify the perpetrators who are actually doing this. And then it mandatory, it says, you know, the prosecutors and law enforcement need to work together to find those people who are doing it and pursue the extent of the law to, per, to prosecute. Public safety is a key thing that I'm gonna be focusing on. I know our caucus is focusing on in this 2024 legislature. These are two critical bills. They need to get a hearing. As a matter of fact, the graffiti bill is gonna be heard next week, which is good. The other one just dropped. Hopefully it will have a hearing coming up very soon because we need to send a message to those that are doing these crimes. We're done with it. The penalty needs to be severe enough so that there are consequences, accountability, and maybe, just maybe, it will stop. Hey, thanks for listening for a few minutes. Andrew Barkas, reach out to my office anytime you want. If you have some comments on this bill or any other stuff I'm working on, let me know. Thanks.